this is the life. After that trip to Qatar, I could sleep for a month. Sherlock, come and eat. Whatever happened to table service? Sherlock? Okay, okay, I'm coming. I've got to think of a way to get rich. Then, I could have all my meals served to me. I could spend every day just laying in the cool green grass. I've got it. I will write a book. I will give it to Mandy. All her friends will buy one. I will win awards. It will be number one on the best sellers list for weeks. Go for it, Sherlock. Once upon a time. Nah, too standard. Hmm, I can't think of anything. What are you doing, Sherlock? Not writing a book. What are the tablet and pencil for? Are you trying to write something? Everyone's a critic. Gotta go. Let me know if you need some help. got there, Sherlock? Just take it. It's heavy. Let me see it. Sherlock, you wrote a book. Can I read it? No. I thought we'd have it for dinner. Of course you can read it, so you can tell me how much you like it. I really don't like it, Sherlock. Food is my life. How disgusting. What do you know? When it's on the bestsellers list, You'll be sorry you said that. You did want me to be honest, didn't you? No problem. Everybody else will love it. Five, four, three, two. Our next guest is a first-time author. Uh, he is the author, author of this autobiography called Food is My Life. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sherlock. Sherlock, it's very nice to have you here. It's nice to be here. This book, hmm, well, well it's, it's just really disgusting. It was nice to be here. Uh, let me just read a line for you here on page four. It says, food is so yummy, diets are crummy, eat like a pig, buy a new wig. Isn't that great stuff? It makes no sense. What's a wig got to do with it? You know your book isn't listed anywhere and none of the bookstores will carry it? Like I said, everyone's a critic. Do you really think fourth graders are going to be interested in this stuff? Did you research your market to find out what your target group is interested in? What's he talking about? Maybe you need to put a little more effort into researching before you begin your writing. A double fudge sundae would make all this better. Hm. I'll show him when thousands of kids show up for my autograph at the bookstore. The crowds will be here any minute. In the meantime, I think I'll take a nap. Hi, Sherlock. Sorry about your book. You can write another one, you know. She can't be serious. I'm serious. We can get the SOS trackers to help you out. Okay, I'm listening. If you want to write a book for fourth graders, we'll put Operation Dog Tracks into gear. SOS trackers can, can do surveys and find out what types of books fourth graders like to read. Surveys are good. Let's see. What else can we do? We can even find out what books are the favorites with fourth graders. Then you'll have a better idea of what to write about. Let's get tracking. Hi, trackers. Sherlock needs us to track down some information. Can you help us? Good. While you do that, I'm going to the bookstore and see what kinds of books they have for fourth graders. I think Sherlock's back on track.
books, books, books. Gotta find the books for fourth graders. Mmm, that book smells good. Wonder if there are any books you can eat. Ah, here are books the SOS trackers might read. Wow, there are so many. I wonder which ones the trackers like best. There's someone reading a book out loud. Thinking here, some what ifs crawled inside my ear and pranced and partied all night long. They sang the same old what if song. I'm going to join them. Dumb in school. Every day, payday, he pays his boss and rides off a smile carrying his hops. Okay. The end. That was good. Yeah, I can write like that. Time to go home. I can't wait to start. Sherlock, this looks serious. Are you writing another book? I'm thinking about another book. Writing means you put something down on paper. Why don't you wait till the trackers come up with more information for you? Oh, hum. I'll tell you what. How about if we give the trackers' favorite book an award? The Sherlock Award. Then you won't have to write a book. We'll give the award because you love books. The Sherlock Award has a nice ring to it. I'm sure it won't take SOS trackers long to find a favorite. Your award will be right up there with the Newberry and Caldecott Awards. While I'm waiting, I think I'll have a double fudge sundae and a chili dog. Welcome to Secrets of Sherlock, Food is My Life. We hope that you've noticed that the programs you're watching are designed to supply your students with a reason to learn, not necessarily the information they need to learn, and is certainly not designed to replace the teacher. We also hope that you have noticed and used the cooperative structures that are designed to help kids work together and therefore learn better. The curriculum focus for this program, Food is My Life, is primarily language arts, but there are math activities involved here as well. The processes that your students will engage in are questioning, collecting, quantitative information, and analyzing and interpreting information. The objectives that we have sought are listed in your teacher's guide and are based on standards that are nationally accepted. <laughs> the basic procedure after your students watch the program is to predict what a survey results will be, to conduct a survey, to analyze a survey, compare results not only within the classroom but hopefully with other students in other classrooms, and then to write a book that will show Sherlock what a good book would be like. Some special points you'll need to remember when you're doing this program are, this is a fantastic opportunity for your students to have an authentic reason to write. We encourage you to have other classrooms listen to your students read their books. We also know that integration can't happen by itself. There are many opportunities for math and survey information for your students to enjoy and to incorporate in what they're doing, but that relies on you to do. We have some suggestions for technology. There are some fabulous programs for surveys, for graphing, and of course the desktop publishing programs that will allow your students to create books with a beautiful print and great graphics. Whatever you do to enhance this program, we hope that you'll enjoy it. I think a lot of teachers feel um, pressure because there is so much to cover in class these days. Um, I had to keep reminding myself that um, this, con this program concentrates on the process of learning and I think this is preparing them um, best uh, for the next century. Um, it involves a lot of problem solving, it's hands-on learning, and I think kids learn best by doing this and retain more information that way. And so just because it doesn't have to do with your reading lesson for that day um, doesn't mean that you shouldn't, you shouldn't feel guilty for doing this because this is exactly what kids should be doing in classrooms. I like Pee Wee Scouts, Blue Skies, French Fries because it's about school. I like school a lot. It's Sherlock Award, and I just made a cup and put dog food and two bones in it sticking out. The Sherlock Award has a nice ring to it. We'll help you, Sherlock. You need a good book. 
So let's make a graph and have a good look. Let's say there is seven here, and we put seven down. Here, 12 is venture and down. Um, we did that together as a class, um, tallying the votes um, after conducting the survey, and we made the graph together as a class. He wrote a book called Food Is My Life, but now he needs a little advice. Chapters are the way with adventures every day. I think too often times we underestimate uh, our own capabilities, students' capabilities, and um, once we take off the blinders and say, what if? I think that, the, that we may very well discover that lots of things are possible, and, and this is the beginning, uh, this fourth grade proficiency test is the beginning of these greater expectations that we will hold for our fourth grade students. My favorite book is The Yearling. It, I like books, the reason why I picked this is I like books that are really thick and that are interesting and then and that you can't get your nose out of it. <laughs> the students began uh, communicating with Sherlock and Mandy online and it was really a fun experience. Each day they came in and wanted to check the computer to see if they got a reply. So after they had some experience with that, then they uh, began writing to other fourth graders, and so they have computer pen pals now that they write to on a regular basis. Well, we got in our groups, and we like had a piece of paper and it like, listed all the kind of books, and then <clears throat> we voted, and we came up with animals. and. We picked animals because, like, he's an animal, and we just like animals because they're, I don't know, we just like them. My favorite book is called The Black Stallion and Satan, and I like it because it makes you want to read faster and see what comes next, and I like horses, too. And the reason I like Circus Days is because it has a lot of animals, and it's uh, fun to read, and it has um, elephants, and that's one of my favorite animals. My favorite book is Rookie of the Year, and I like it because it has a lot of um, exciting parts, and it's fun to read. As far as uh, The Secrets of Sherlock, um, I think the program is excellent. Um, the kids are really excited about it, and to me that's the key to learning, is making it fun for the kids. Um, everything. Uh, is right there where you need it with all the activities and techniques planned. Um, again, uh, the kids are having so much fun with it. Every single day they ask me, when are we going to do Secrets of Sherlock? When are we going to get in our groups? Well, first we, we got into our groups and we, we thought over that what book would have the most votes and whatever one would be the best for our Sherlock. Um, so we planned it over and we had animals as the best book. My favorite book is called Mouse and the Motor Cycle by Beverly Cleary. My favorite book is Little House on the Prairie. I like Ship of Terror because it takes you underwater. So far my favorite book is Little House in the Big Woods because I um, like to know what happened back then. Sherlock's looking for a kind of book he can write. So let's help them track us by cooperating and doing it right. All right, track us, let's go. One, two, 